Hello everyone, welcome to another part of ASEAN Pacific episodes today. In this topic today uh, of our discussion today is the role of ASEAN uh, centrality and continuity in Indo-Pacific. My guest for today is uh, Ambassador Thomas Lukashuk. Uh, Thomas worked in a Polish foreign service for 25 years, serving in Norway, Indonesia, Singapore, East Timor, India, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, Nepal, and Maldives. His field of uh, work experience in diplomacy includes two years as a deputy director, joint secretary, director general, and two years as a director, joint secretary, director general of Asia and Pacific Department and Polish Ministry of Foreign Affairs, being director, joint secretary, prepared the concept of Asia and Pacific Forum, aimed at deeper cooperation and coordination of most important scientific and research center for Asian studies in Poland. He supported Polish universities and think tanks in developing their contacts and links with uh, Asian partners in most important areas vital for the development of their cooperation. He represented Poland at various conferences on maritime issues, environment, Afghanistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan International Contact Group and the ACEM, preparing several papers and reports. His areas of expertise are integration process uh, in South and Southeast Asia, Indonesia, and Indian internal and foreign policy. Uh, at present, his research interests are regionalism and interregional cooperation of Bay of Bengal countries, as well as maritime strategies of biggest littoral countries of Indian Ocean, member of the International Studies Association and fellow at the Global India Program at the European Union. Uh, hi, Thomas. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for thank, uh, take your time and uh, come to and join my program today. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for your invitation. It's really exciting. And uh, the idea of, uh, you know, discussing it uh, using YouTube, uh, it's uh, really something, something new for me. So I'm, I'm uh, really glad uh, so and prepared to, to ask your questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. And by the way, let me jump to the, my question uh, of our program. Given the, the, the geopolitical location of ASEAN member countries, or in other name, the Southeast Asian countries, what importance does the region gain within the scope of uh, Indo-Pacific region? What will be your take on uh, this uh, region and the Indo-Pacific scope? Right. Thank you very much. Uh, so certainly, uh, uh, you know, uh, speaking about the, the role of ASEAN in Indo-Pacific, we first of all, we, we we have to emphasize that, that the Indo-Pacific uh, is a fresh geopolitical idea, and uh, I can only quote uh, the, one of the most uh, famous uh, uh, Indian professors, Amita Pacharya, that uh, Indo-Pacific uh, is for military strategists. Uh, Asia-Pacific was more for economists. Uh, so we are dealing with the geopolitical concept, uh, mainly focus on the military naval issues. And uh, this uh, for ASEAN uh, plays a very important role because uh, uh, being at the crossroads uh, of the most important in the world uh, strategic uh, lines of communication, uh, having uh, the most busiest strait uh, on its uh, territory, I mean, I mean Malacca Strait, uh, with 300 uh, ships uh, passing every day, with Singapore as the second biggest uh, port in the world, uh, and uh, not speaking about the number uh, of uh, navies. Uh, passing uh, the waters uh, of uh, the biggest archipelago in the world, Indonesia, the uh, second, third biggest archipelagos uh, in the world, like, like uh, Philippines or Malaysia. So certainly we are dealing with uh, uh, something which is uh, uh, extremely important for, for ASEAN and ASEAN, ASEAN centrality uh, is uh, the question uh, for uh, ASEAN itself and and for the partners uh, uh, from Indo-Pacific. Indo-Pacific, uh, I think, uh, 
is uh, not uh, well explained to the world. Uh, it's uh, too narrow, too limited uh, to the audience of experts, uh, to academics, and it needs really a, a, a uh, decent explanation uh, of the idea and uh, certainly of the goals of, of Indo Indo Pacific, because without it, uh, there are too many interpretations uh, of of the goals, too many interpretations uh, uh, of uh, also the objectives of the United States uh, or, and other countries. And uh, as, as we perfectly know, so there are countries like China, it's uh, treating Indo-Pacific strategy as uh, something uh, which uh, could serve as a part of the deterrence uh, strategy against uh, China with uh, United States and some the group of uh, some other countries. Uh, trying to, to stop the, the rise of China and all, all the, let's say, the, the strategies uh, uh, proposed by China uh, during the second decade of uh, the 21st century, especially Belt and Road uh, Initiative. Uh, so I think uh, for, for ASEAN, uh, with all the institutional framework, uh, including the ASEAN defense ministers' meetings uh, with all the strategic partners, uh, not speaking about ASEAN regional forum uh, and uh, many, many other institutional platforms, uh, including uh, certainly the military drills uh, with participation of the navies uh, of all the uh, all the big, biggest literals uh, from both. Uh, uh, India, Indian Ocean and, and the Western Pacific Ocean. So uh, for ASEAN, it's, uh, it's obvious that, that uh, if, if in the Pacific uh, strategy uh, should work, so it should be first explained uh, to, the, to the ASEAN countries, it should keep the ASEAN cent centrality and the, all the institutions uh, designed uh, by ASEAN countries uh, for the last uh, 30 years, uh, they should be still kept as a central place for a dialogue and central place also for the explanation of all the ideas surrounding in the Pacific. Now, the, uh, Thomas, ASEAN countries seems to be forced uh, to choose between the two great powers of their geographical proximity with China. At that time when the US and China's rival is evolving into an increasingly worse situation. So what does this mean for the future of the region? They should choose or what, what they do? What is the option for the, for the yes. region? Yes, I mean, in the, in, the, in the 21st century, uh, the, uh, the concept of middle power uh, became a buzzword. Uh, not only among uh, academicians uh, and experts in international affairs, but widely also in the public uh, and uh, the wider audience. And I think the, uh, the, the ASEAN, uh, ASEAN uh, and uh, some members of ASEAN as middle powers, uh, they, they should play a uh, role uh, as... Uh, uh, dialogue uh, dialogue partners for uh, United States and for China, and uh, they they should uh, convince China and the United States that the middle power concept nowadays, uh, with the engagement of both sides of the rivalry in the United States and China in the institutional framework, not only regional one, uh, established by, the, by ASEAN, but also in the global one, I mean, the participation with all the United Nations institutions, uh, including Security, Security Council. So it, it should be the place where all the, uh, let's say, the questions uh, uh, and, and uh, let's say, uh, the, to sometimes sometimes uh, quarrels uh, should be solved 
not but sh should not be solved uh, through uh, through uh, the, the the tension in uh, South China Sea or or uh, Malacca Strait uh, because because uh, this is not uh, the way uh, to solve uh, the conflicts uh, in the 21st century when we have uh, understood by by every actor in international relations uh, the very deep interdependence and 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 uh, china and, and the united states they they uh, are pretty aware of the fact that that the, the trade or the trade war uh, i'm not speaking about military uh, area but but the trade war could really finish uh, uh, for them uh, in let's say in a place uh, called the really deep recession or even economic crisis comparable to uh, that one uh, in from the end of uh, the 20th century in uh, Asia. So the, in connection with the uh, with this Sino-US strategic competition, nuclear and hypersonic weapons agreements such as AUKUS and Brahmos uh, are being moved in the region. How do you consider a regional arms race in light of such agreements or? Do you think such agreements will expand and include ASEAN countries in the mid-term or the near future? Right. Uh, the, the, the arms race uh, in Asia, um, arms race in Southeast Asia, this is the question uh, of the uh, last two decades uh, because uh, uh, it's uh, the, the, the matter of the lack of uh, proper, uh, proper security uh, system. Uh, in uh, Indo-Pacific, uh, there is no overall institution of, of uh, security. Uh, if you compare it to the, the situation in Europe, so you will you know you, you, we don't have in the region uh, the mechanism uh, like like the Organization for Security Cooperation in Europe or or or. Uh, the, the Council of Europe and many many other many other organizations. So uh, in 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 Asia, uh, in Indo-Pacific, uh, does uh, does not exist. So what 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 ASEAN countries uh, could uh, could do? So if you if you if you compare if you compare the uh, budgets uh, of of China and and uh, uh, USA and and other Quad uh, countries, uh, so it's like uh, with China. Uh, China is spending uh, much lower, uh, much lower than 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 than, than uh, USA and and Quad. Uh, it's uh, it's uncomparable of so far. Uh, and and uh, in case of, of uh, ASEAN countries, we have only uh, 40 billion US, uh, US dollars uh, military budgets for all ASEAN countries, uh, which is not a big, big, uh, big number, certainly. Uh, we have also, uh, as we perfectly know, in, uh, the, the, the concept uh, of uh, Southeast Asia free of nuclear weapon, uh, with, uh, with, which is very important, uh, especially while speaking you about you, you, the, the nuclear, uh, nuclear uh, powered uh, submarines and, and all the, the nuclear weapons. Uh, uh, so the, 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 the sale of, of Brahmos uh, to Vietnam, you mentioned, uh, well, so uh, that's the consequence of uh, deep, deeper, uh, deeper uh, cooperation of uh, India and, and Vietnam and other uh, ASEAN countries. Uh, India itself uh, is also the part of uh, Southeast Asia, geographically, certainly, uh, and uh, has uh, the strategic partnership with ASEAN countries uh, for for the last uh, two two decades, and and uh, uh, I would say that 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 the the, um, the the competition the competition of between China and and the United States is a one thing, but the uh, the, the the concept of of development 
uh, of ASEAN countries uh, and uh, keeping uh, the, uh, the style of uh, defense policy as a uh, defensive one, not offensive one, is very important. Uh, and and uh, what what also uh, plays uh, a significant role in this context is that that uh, as we perfectly know, uh, since 90s, uh, ASEAN is engaging uh, both China and the US uh, more and more in uh, the military dialogue. Uh, so uh, ASEAN, ASEAN, uh, ASEAN uh, should uh, keep keep this this level of engagement uh, despite uh, the arms race which is going on, and and uh, AUKUS uh, even speed it up, and and in a long term uh, long term period so it, it could be uh, really a, 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 a problem for for uh, for indo-pacific with with the AUKUS because AUKUS is a, a return to the old ideas AUKUS is a return to the ideas of uh, uh, for 50s and 60s uh, before the establishment of ASEAN uh, and and uh, I think uh, it's a for it's a big work now ahead of uh, ASEAN diplomats uh, to convince uh, the United States just to change the style uh, of its uh, strategy and its policy towards uh, Indo-Pacific, uh, not not uh, to narrow it uh, only to the uh, military strategies and and building up the the, the military strength of. Uh, the partners of the United States in, in the Pacific uh, region. Now, there is, uh, Thomas, there is an ongoing debate that the ASEAN institutional integrity is divided by China. This argument is tried to be justified by showing the, the close ties of some ASEAN member countries uh, with China as an example. Uh, do you think such uh, arguments are valid or not? Well, uh, uh, ASEAN's institutional integrity. Uh, I would say uh, this way. Uh, China is uh, the biggest uh, trade partner nowadays for all ASEAN countries. Uh, China uh, is uh, very active in uh, many uh, areas while dealing with uh, ASEAN countries uh, and and uh, it's uh, the, the the scale of engagement of China in relations with ASEAN countries is uncomparable uh, to the scale of uh, the European Union or, or the United States uh, policies uh, in, in the region and and uh, for me, it's natural that, that ASEAN countries would like to develop their uh, relations uh, in ASEAN style uh, with uh, China. Uh, we, we, we have to remember that ASEAN, despite many similarities, is not the European Union. And uh, we also, it's, uh, it's important to remember that, that the the ASEAN countries, every one of them, they have own, let's say, foreign policy uh, and uh, would like also to uh, take the opportunity of uh, speeding up uh, economic development uh, while using uh, all the, let's say, uh, grants or credits or investments uh, Extended by, by extended by China, and and uh, I, would say, I would say this way that that uh, uh, despite despite uh, the many many voices in in in, uh, in Europe among journalists and and experts that uh, uh, Assange's integrity. Uh, is uh, not uh, 
actually uh, working and and uh, it's it's being divided and and misused by china uh, i would i would say that but uh, uh, asean uh, as as we as we discussed it in the very beginning of our today's meeting asean was being at the crossroads of the most important uh, world uh, communication uh, strategic lines uh, so could not uh, avoid uh, the uh, struggle power uh, between the, 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 the biggest uh, countries in the world. That's why is ASEAN concept of engaging all the biggest countries in the world into the dialogue. And it, it, it has worked for, for the last 30 years, as far as I know, because I spent 10 years in Jakarta and with my own eyes, I, 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 I witnessed uh, the uh, the development of ASEAN and, and all those uh, institutions uh, of uh, ASEAN uh, cooperation with uh, superpowers and regional powers. Um, I'm asking about the, the RECIP. RECIP came into effect on the 1st January 2022, the world's largest trade uh, deal covering 2.2 billion uh, people and it aims to eliminate 90% of the tariffs between the signatures within 20 years. Through the agreement, what will be the great benefit of RECIP for China to grow its influence over the region and strengthen its relations with the, with the ASEAN countries? Right. Yes, RCP, RCP uh, is a uh, really uh, important move. Uh, and and um, I'm, I'm, believe me, I mean, from... from uh, Seeing it from Europe, uh, it's uh, uh, I would say uh, 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 I mean that the significance of uh, of uh, RCP coming in force uh, January this year last uh, last month, just month ago, uh, it's underestimated. It's it's totally underestimated in the European Union. I don't know why. It's uh, the European Union uh, should be uh, like like China uh, uh, trying to to uh, to join uh, the uh, comprehensive and progressive agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership because they already applied for for the membership and and the European Union should apply for RCP as soon as possible uh, because because as you as you as you uh, as you said that that the the RCP covers 30% of global economy. And uh, from the perspective of ASEAN and China, this is one of the crucial, most crucial moments uh, in very modern history. And, and Europe is, uh, you know, focused on, on, on own, let's say, uh, issues and questions on, on, on uh, Central Eastern Europe uh, questions and, and, and certainly COVID also plays an important role uh, and, and the recovery uh, from, from, from the pandemic situation. But, but uh, as I said, uh, it, it would have a tremendous consequences uh, in, a, in a short, uh, mid and long term. Uh, for uh, ASEAN and China relations and uh, the countries uh, from the European Union, India, the United States, they, they should do uh, everything possible just to, to, to join both uh, uh, RCP and uh, CPTPP uh, as soon as possible. Apply uh, I will apply as, as uh, I would say this year, if possible, this year already start the application because because uh, uh, it would uh, speed up the process of gaining by China the, the number one economy status uh, in the world, uh, not by 2033, but probably by the end of this decade without any problem and, and China as I, as I said ready 
uh, China became already the, 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 the biggest uh, trade partner for ASEAN countries and, and uh, this uh, uh, RCP uh, would strengthen the, the status and, and the significance of, of China for both trade and investment uh, in Southeast Asia. Now, uh, Thomas, I'm going to, to, to ask one question, uh, one of the, the update questions, most uh, recent question about the Ukraine crisis, and it is a linkage with, uh, with the Asian, East Asia. Now, the, considering Russia's possible intervention in Ukraine, the world's most powerful, country, powerful countries, such as China, United States, and Russia will include, and also EU members will include directly or on, indirectly will include to the, the crisis. In a such case, what will be the reflections of uh, the Ukraine crisis from supply chain to the trade and economics? Right. Uh, so uh, uh, the relations of uh, ASEAN countries uh, with uh, Russia nowadays, uh, uh, as, as far as I know, are, are uh, pretty good and and uh, just two months ago uh, the, uh, the navy drills uh, of uh, ASEAN and the Russian uh, navies uh, next to uh, Indonesia's Sumatra island and and uh, for ASEAN countries uh, uh, Russia is still uh, the part of this uh, balance uh, superpowers uh, uh, world. When when you 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 have let's say the United States, you have China, you have uh, Russia, you have Australia, you have the European Union, and uh, keeping them uh, say at the, the same level and and uh, also trying to engage them as, as, as deep as possible. Uh, for, uh, uh, for the Ukrainian question, I would say for, for, for Assam, uh, uh, I, I, I might guess that, that uh, Assam country's way of thinking about Ukraine is that Assam was smart enough to integrate itself by the end of the 20th century. And the European Union had the chance to accept uh, Ukraine as a member at least twice during uh, two last two decades. But the European Union missed the opportunity. And now uh, certainly Russia would like to, let's say, renew, uh, renew its, its status and, and uh, uh, would like to stay as a superpower with uh, this zone of influence, with all the say, instruments uh, which are also in the hands of, of China while dealing with, with ASEAN countries. But uh, Ukraine is not a member of uh, the European Union, neither European Union nor uh, NATO. Uh, in ASEAN, you have a different situation while dealing with China, because you are the one. You are the ASEAN community since 2015, uh, also in, in terms of the strategic components of, of, uh, of, of the cooperation. Uh, so uh, you, can, you can deal it in a totally in different way. And, and uh, you can look at Ukraine also as a, as a um, a crisis uh, which uh, might have happened also in Southeast Asia. But uh, you spent 30 years uh, to have uh, this, let's say, the code of conduct uh, dialogue uh, with China and trying to, to uh, finally to, to, um, to sign it and to, to accept it. Uh, you you have all those those instruments uh, of dialogue and with with uh, with Ukraine, the instruments of dialogue. I mean between the European Union and NATO, they are frozen, are blocked, as you know since Crimea War. Uh, so it's really difficult uh, for uh, for the the, the uh, for the 
European countries to deal with the Ukraine uh, crisis, not having on their disposal instruments ASEAN has, thanks to the, the hard work of, of uh, your diplomats uh, with all the superpowers, including uh, Russia uh, and, and, uh, and uh, China. But, but uh, speaking about the uh, speaking about the supply chains and military crisis, I doubt that that uh, the the, the uh, well, hopefully not. Uh, but if it happens that the war in Ukraine uh, affects uh, uh, the uh, the supply chains uh, going through uh, Malacca Strait and the economic situation of, of uh, ASEAN, Southeast Asia, I, I really doubt. I really doubt because it has no connection. The, the, Black, the situation in the Black Sea is not as crucial for the world transportation as it is in, in the case of Malacca Strait or South China Sea. Now, uh, I have last question, uh, Thomas about the ASEAN and the U.S. relations. Now, we're considering its strategic competition with the China. Can it be said that ASEAN countries, which are in the most significant geopolitical location, still doesn't see the necessary relevance from the U.S. or aren't seen as a region to be invested by the U.S. in a sufficient level? Right. Yes, uh, uh, I remember. I remember, uh, you know, some some articles um, uh, in, in the Indonesian newspapers uh, commenting, uh, you know, the uh, the visits uh, of the U.S. officials uh, in ASEAN countries in, uh, in the context of this competition between the U.S. and China. And uh, the the offer of uh, 100 million US dollars uh, input into the cooperation uh, into the cooperation uh, between ASEAN and the United States and and uh, uh, Joe Biden while while meeting uh, the current US uh, president while meeting uh, with. Uh, uh, with ASEAN countries, uh, he repeated uh, the offer of 100 million, and, and I guess uh, the reaction uh, probably uh, in, in uh, ASEAN capitals was the same as it uh, was a uh, few years ago. It means, I mean, it was a kind of disbelief that uh, the one of the most uh, important uh, regions. Uh, in the world uh, has value one of 100 million US dollars because it's say uh, not too much uh, not too much uh, for if, if you if you if you con if you compare it uh, to say uh, all the um, promises uh, of, of China and Belt and Road Initiative and, and the, the investments uh, made made by by, uh, by Chinese uh, companies uh, in in ASEAN countries. Uh, so uh, the expectations uh, nowadays, uh, keeping in mind uh, the RCP. Uh, expectations are really they went high they really went high in ASEAN countries and they are expecting really something much much bigger uh, on American side and they are uh, you you really I mean the, really expecting uh, Malaysia and other ASEAN countries you really expecting um, let's say uh, the, the 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 one the amount of at least one billion uh, investments and 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 uh, uh, and other proposals uh, from the United States uh, because it's that the future uh, of Southeast Asia is at stake nowadays and and uh, the the region uh, is uh, so important also for the United States 
that it should remember that uh, really the, the, uh, this uh, uh, Indo-Pacific concept uh, should not only focus uh, on the military issues, uh, but also should be closer to the economic area and uh, to the questions of sustainable development and all those uh, issues which are uh, related uh, to uh, the uh, expectations, uh, especially in economy, uh, economy of all the uh, ASEAN uh, countries. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Thomas. Now, there is a few questions from uh, audiences. Let me bring on screen. Yes, Chen Piao. The foreign minister of Myanmar will not be invited to a mid-February ASEAN ministerial retreat. What kind of impact will the isolation of the Myanmar military regime have on the institutional structure of ASEAN? Uh, well, yes, it's a, thank you very much. It's a very, very good question. Uh, I would say this way, uh, that um, it's, this is uh, Myanmar, uh, Myanmar, which I visited uh, as, as an official of Polish Foreign Ministry. Uh, we really uh, lost the opportunity uh, to have uh, Myanmar uh, say the democratic to become a democratic country and what is happening now is this are only consequences of uh, let's say the uh, uh, st wrong strategic approach uh, towards uh, towards Myanmar because uh, you know in Poland uh, we, we looked at, at Myanmar situation uh, a few years ago uh, in a way which uh, for us was uh, kind of déjà vu, uh, because we had uh, such situation in 1989, uh, when we have a government of uh, Prime Minister Mazowiecki, which uh, in its part uh, consisted of, uh, say, the uh, guys from the previous regime, military regime, and. Uh, it was uh, the pressure and support of the United States. So the pressure and support of the European community and Western Europe, which helped us to go through this uh, first phase of our de de democratic development. And uh, after 10 years of, let's say, of probation, we became a member of uh, North Atlantic Treaty Organization. And five years after, we became a member of the European Union. So, uh, in Myanmar, uh, expected uh, help from many actors, including, including us, including the European Union, uh, but uh, we failed to help them. And, and uh, nowadays, uh, with uh, all the standards of ASEAN, which are very close to the standards of the European Union, I can understand that they are, let's say, the, uh, not, not inviting the, 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 the Myanmar, Myanmar foreign minister, trying to do something by themselves, I mean, ASEAN. I mean, to, 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 to put the pressure on, on the regime in, in, in Naipido, just to, to uh, uh, at least uh, uh, release uh, Aung San Suu Kyi uh, and, and uh, go, back, go back, let's say, to, to, to the, the conditions uh, from, let's say, 2011, 2012. Uh, but because now what's going on in, in Myanmar is, is uh, it, it's, uh, the, let's say that uh, we are, they went back to, to the, say, 20 years at least. I mean, uh, speaking about the situation of the opposition and Aung San Suu Kyi herself. Next question, Huang Nguyen. Indonesia passes law to relocate its capital from Jakarta to Borneo. 
What kind of uh, geopolitical gains and disadvantages will the allocation of the capital of Tuba now bring the country? Right. Uh, so, uh, geopolitical gains and disadvantages. Uh, as, I, as I told you, so I, I, I spent really long time in, in Indonesia and Southeast Asia. Uh, I, I, I was there. I visited the place of, of uh, the future capital city. Uh, and and uh, uh, speaking uh, speaking about about uh, the place and speaking about uh, the, 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 the 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 say Nusantara uh, as a future capital city. So uh, it's not for the first time when when the when uh, when uh, any country is is moving its capital city to to another place. Uh, and and uh, I know what the situation in Jakarta is nowadays. And uh, uh, in in ten to twenty years, uh, it will be even worse due to the rise of the sea level. I'm speaking about Jakarta. So the 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 move uh, the move is logical and and understandable for somebody who. Let's say, uh, spent uh, spent long time in Indonesia like me, and geopolitically, I think it would be uh, uh, would be uh, very neutral, uh, because uh, excuse me, nowadays if you have a good internet and satellite connection, you can place uh, your capital city anywhere. Uh, so it's it really that does not play. Uh, uh, and significant role as it used to play, let's say, uh, in the 20th century. Nowadays, uh, you can you can have your capital city anywhere, and in Indonesia, you have uh, plenty of places uh, when when you can have a very good connectivity. And and I can assure you that that uh, connectivity in 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 uh, in the new capital city uh, will be. Uh, will be uh, even better than uh, than uh, than in in Jakarta, and uh, Jakarta could could be uh, could be still a business uh, business uh, capital city of Indonesia, and and uh, Nusantara could be only administration, and and nowadays everything could be done uh, using internet. Our uh, conversation is a good proof of it. Uh, so uh, it it really it really uh, does does not uh, matter what where 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 the the, the new uh, new capital city of Indonesia will be uh, will be located. I got I got the the question also by myself uh, on on yes. Facebook uh, that uh, the the centrality of ASEAN and connectivity and uh, how it could be disconnected. Uh, so uh, I think uh, uh, the, uh, what, uh, if you look at, at the strategy of China and its relations uh, with uh, Russia, uh, we have to remember that the, uh, uh, the North, uh, the North, uh, uh, line of communication is already available uh, due to the climate change, and uh, it's uh, it's uh, fifty percent shorter than the regular now a regular one uh, through Indian Ocean and Suez Canal or the bottlenecks in 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 uh, Western Asia and and Europe. Uh, what does it mean that that uh, China? Uh, in 10 years, we start uh, to use uh, the northern uh, sea line of communication uh, to uh, uh, export uh, its products uh, to, to Europe. And also it will use to import uh, import uh, gas and oil from from the from the northern uh, Europe, uh, China already, as far as I know, invested in Shilkenes in Norway, 
uh, as you read in my CV, so I, I, I know Norway quite well, and, and the, 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 they, are, they are, became very, very active uh, in, that, in, the, in Europe, um, especially in the northern part of Europe, uh, also, let's say, foreseeing uh, in a decade that all the ports uh, in that part of Europe will be uh, really uh, very, very um, critical uh, for all the transportation and for for the, the in, in for Chinese uh, economy in the future. There will be any uh, con linkage and centrality and centrality of ASEAN and centrality of ASEAN for them. I mean, centrality of ASEAN would have a different dimension. Because if you have this, if you have uh, the, the, the major major part of uh, the, 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 the traffic uh, would go to the north, not to the south. So uh, Asan, uh, Asan's role uh, will change dramatically. Antonio Kowalski. Yes, the question is, ASEAN struggles to reach a consensus on the South China Sea. What policy changes might this issue lead to within ASEAN? Uh, do you think such challenge issue will lead to the policy change within the, the ASEAN? Right. Uh, I, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, yes, it's a very interesting question. Uh, because uh, for the last 30 years, uh, ASEAN is, is trying uh, to uh, push China to, to sign this code of conduct agreement in South China Sea uh, and uh, this is the matter of rules of engagement and uh, China in its uh, white papers uh, it's uh, say uh, promising that it's ready to to cooperate with anyone uh, uh, if it concerns the maritime security and the cooperation uh, in the uh, Indian Ocean and the Western, Western Pacific Ocean. But the, the reality is that uh, China is uh, uh, very assertive uh, in, in South China Sea. Uh, and for, for ASEAN, uh, using uh, dozens uh, of instruments of dialogue, uh, with, with China through China. Uh, negotiations on code of conduct, through uh, through the even even uh, joint uh, military uh, navy maneuvers uh, with China, uh, the joint uh, joint uh, uh, ASEAN defense ministers meetings uh, with uh, Chinese counterparts. Uh, Shangri-La dialogue uh, with uh, also the ASEAN Regional Forum. All those all those platforms are available, but Chinese they are let's say uh, playing the game uh, using uh, own rules, their own rules, and they they don't want to 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 have uh, to have this ASEAN style. Uh, being being used uh, during the negotiations and and uh, uh, the, the the question is uh, uh, could could uh, could the United States uh, or Japan or, or or Australia any 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 other let's say big big uh, or, or or superpower could could facilitate uh, those. Uh, uh, those negotiations and and the dialogue uh, using the institutional uh, platforms I, I mentioned, I mean, they're created by by ASEAN. This is a big, big, very, really big question because if if uh, if uh, if China's uh, choice uh, would be uh, to uh, uh, attain the goals uh, they uh, say they presented. Just to, to have to have the role of uh, hegemon uh, in next uh, two decades, not only in Asia, uh, in the Pacific region, uh, but in the world, uh, using only uh, their own instruments, their own strategy, 
uh, not respecting uh, not respecting uh, ASEAN uh, institutions. Uh, I think uh, this this would uh, be uh, uh, for for China uh, kind uh, of. Uh, uh, miscalculation and and uh, ASEAN countries, uh, we have to remember they are also becoming stronger and and stronger and and uh, uh, China should uh, should have also perspective not for the next two decades, but f uh, three to four decades, when ASEAN together with Indonesia, Singapore, Malaysia, uh, as uh, say the, the the biggest economies. Uh, would uh, would would become let's say the the, the uh, one of the five uh, biggest uh, economies in the world and ASEAN would become let's say the uh, superpower in global scale in those three to four decades and, and it's it's nowadays uh, ASEAN it's more than six hundred million people uh, the the economic potential certainly is is growing but it's not as big as india or or, or china or japan but uh, but the growth uh, uh, the growth is is really substantial and and uh, i'm expecting that that uh, indicates to in, in the, de the decades to come asean uh, would have its uh, proper place among uh, the superpowers in global scale. Let me bring my other question. Nabila Hidayat. So this Asian states will host three multilateral summits this year, Indonesia G20, Thailand, APEC, and Cambodia, the East Asia Summit. Are these meetings a sign that the region is becoming a center of attraction? Thank you. Uh, thank you. Right. Uh, yes, exactly. Indonesia is uh, now the, the, has the presidency of G20. Thailand has the presidency in APEC, uh, not speaking about East Asia Summit. Uh, so uh, the European Union is uh, only the part of, uh, say, the G20. We are uh, not not in APEC, uh, not in uh, East Asia Summit. We tried, we tried to do our best. Uh, and and uh, those, uh, those, uh, those forums, I, I, I hope they would, they would help uh, to, to, uh, to, find, to find a consensus among, especially, especially uh, the United States uh, and and uh, China in in finding the let's say more moderate tones diplomatic uh, diplomatic ways uh, of uh, explaining uh, own goals and explaining some policies uh, not to over focus in in own uh, let's say domestic issues uh, because uh, the, the, the the consensus uh, between two those those two I mean, the United States and China is is uh, necessary to to stabilize uh, the uh, situation uh, in in the Pacific and and uh, those those uh, free platforms uh, could uh, uh, could also serve. Uh, to ease the tension between the United States and and uh, Russia, hopefully, uh, because uh, as as we discuss it about the Ukraine, so the, the, the really the situation uh, situation nowadays uh, uh, at Ukrainian and Russian borders is uh, uh, really tense, and and uh, nobody knows what. Uh, uh, would be in the in the near, near future. So certainly those those uh, free uh, free the meetings uh, will play a very important role. And as as we perfectly know, the uh, Asan way is also to organize on on uh, on the occasion of East Asia Summit uh, to organize also Asan plus plus summits. 
So we will have the series of uh, meetings of ASEAN plus United States, ASEAN, ASEAN plus Russia, ASEAN plus India. So uh, diplomats from those countries will have plenty of opportunities uh, to really define very diplomatic ways uh, to 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 uh, solve uh, many uh, problems uh, uh, of uh, our uh, modern world. Uh, so, but let let us then cross uh, crossing our fingers that they would really prepare a good stuff for the leaders uh, to discuss. I have last two questions, Thomas. Let me bring the, this one. Can then uh, can Southeast Asia transform into the area of competition and conflicts for the great powers within the scope of China as rival? Yeah, uh, I mean the 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 the, the uh, as South, Southeast Asia is actually area of competition, uh, but not it's not the area of conflict. And, and uh, uh, as, I, as I mentioned today, uh, thanks uh, to the hard work of uh, the diplomats of ASEAN, uh, you, you uh, establish uh, really a solid architecture uh, uh, of uh, the Southeast Asia uh, security system uh, based on a treaty on amity and cooperation, uh, also on a non-nuclear weapon zone. Uh, plus uh, all the all the institutions, uh, dialogues and platforms I mentioned today. Uh, so uh, the, the 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 conflict, the conflict itself, uh, might happen in in South China Sea, but uh, due to the uh, uh, critical critical significance. Uh, of uh, the sea lines of communication in, in South, China, South China Sea, also for China. Uh, I doubt that uh, the relevance of any military conflict uh, would be bigger than now. Uh, so, uh, say maybe I'm, I'm speaking to 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 uh, to let's say uh, too much uh, as a, as a let's say the. Uh, uh, Proponent of, of the of the neoliberal school of uh, thinking of international affairs, but but the irrelevance of, of uh, military conflict is a uh, really a reality nowadays in the maritime uh, domain and 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 uh, you know with uh, with thousands uh, of uh, ships. Uh, Going uh, through through the uh, uh, through the straits of uh, uh, Southeast uh, uh, Asia, uh, I doubt that that uh, China would decide uh, to block uh, those uh, lines of communication and transportation uh, for the sake of uh, the military conflict uh, with the United States. This last question, Hannah Wong, does uh, ASEAN have any importance for European Union member states beyond economic and commercial relations, such as the security issues? Right. Uh, so uh, uh, the European Union uh, ASEAN uh, strategic dialogue uh, it's, it's, it's taking place uh, for the last 50 years. And certainly, it's evolving, and 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 also the, the both sides they are adjusting uh, their, their strategies, uh, depending on on the developments also in other regions and in, in also in the global global international relations. Uh, nowadays, in the in the third decade of the 21st century, the European Union. Uh, is no longer the, the biggest uh, trade and investment partner uh, for uh, for ASEAN countries, uh, but uh, it's still the the, the, the biggest uh, the donor of of the development assistance. First, uh, it's uh, also the important partner uh, nowadays in, in the security issues. Uh, uh, Two years ago, uh, the, the European Union 
uh, change uh, its formula of engagement in security issues uh, in uh, Assam. It means uh, uh, that the special special envoy uh, accredited to Assam uh, was uh, posted by by the European Commission, uh, and and so the engagement in security issues uh, is no longer. Uh, the the uh, the topic uh, and of of uh, say bilateral uh, engagement of uh, the European Union countries now it became also the European Union as a whole it's not only about France uh, Spain uh, Germany or Italy uh, very active in, in the Pacific region uh, bilaterally but now it's the European as a whole. European Union as a whole is, is uh, now becoming uh, very active. As, as, as you know, it's uh, also the, the now uh, uh, officially published uh, the Indo-Pacific uh, uh, outlook or strategy of the European Union. Uh, to, and and uh, it would help also to, uh, to change uh, the European Union relations with ASEAN towards uh, this uh, security area and, and also it, it, would, it would help uh, the, the, the bureaucrats in Brussels to understand uh, more about the, 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 the challenges of uh, ASEAN while uh, facing the competition between China, India and the uh, United States in, in the region. Thank you very much, uh, Thomas. Uh, I come to the end of my question and my audience's question. This is a really great uh, benefit I get it, and I believe that my audiences get a great benefit from your talks and uh, information. Thank you. Thank you. It was really my pleasure, and, and I'm, I'm really congratulating you, and it's a, a very, very nice idea, and, and uh, uh, you know, despite all the all the problems uh, with the pandemic situation, uh, so we, we can we can communicate and we can we we can talk about important issues for both uh, you and, and uh, me. So uh, looking forward, and hopefully also to meet you meet you in person uh, while traveling uh, once again to. Southeast Asia. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thomas. Thank you. Have a good day. In Thank my you. side now is night. I know. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much for joining me again. Thank and you. thank you for, for our audiences uh, with us until the end of the show.